power purchase agreements became popular around the country, uh, followed many of those things. And it, they work, and to my opinion, better than those FEDA tariffs. <coughs> but what I kept waiting for was <coughs> when could we get to the point that we could speculate on our long term energy liabilities with our home, with our business, or with any utility company, <coughs> that it made a lot of sense. A lot more sense than burning coal or blowing a nuclear. And again, that came into focus in the state about three years ago. Particularly when the 1603 grant came, up, came along, I was running all these analyses and it began to really make sense. So, I, the, with the, the, the r and tariffs that you were talking about, I was right in the front of, of a bunch of those trying to get them through and got several of them, or a couple hundred kilowatts. First one was for irrigation system, through irrigation system for um, a power orchard, which did extremely well uh, in terms of its performance capability. But it, um, George Power swept in the last minute and saw the light and uh, they bought all the power up. And so that thing is, um, you know, beating the grid. And it's, it's 200 kW to it. And right after that, I did a megawatt of the Polarity Bill, which is now beating the grid as well. But, um, what I, was, what I was after in my software, all, uh, in my analysis all along, was at what point, again, did this thing make good financial sense that we could begin to direct, decommission some of these coal plants and bring in, bring in uh, commercial use or, or everyday use. And like I said, that occurred about three years ago. And I was asked shortly after that, uh, I guess it's about 18, 24 months ago now, a fellow had a cotton farm that was wanted to put some solar in 30 megawatts, 20 megawatts is what it came to me with. And I was asked by some people in the Public Service Commission, but I analyzed this and tell them at what point, what metrics do we have to hit to get 20 megawatts to go in? So I analyzed it, handed it back to them, and was in the room a couple of times when some of the commissioners were looking at the numbers and read them, studied them, and George Power was in. And Next thing I knew, I saw a commissioner stand up at the desk, pounding my, pounding my numbers, telling George Power that there was a tsunami coming. Little did I understand that my numbers, and you know, what George Power been saying, were two different things. I thought they were mad at me, Star Wars. But they were. But they were. 